do you think there's a bit of a gender gap when it comes to health? Yeah, it's a really interesting question, Paul. Um, yes, the gender gap is there and, and it, it works both ways. So what kind of the, the fascinating part of this is men on average, and this is a global trend, appear to die five years younger than women. Uh, and that is the case in uh, high income settings like the UK and US, but also across across the globe. Mm. And it's only got worse. In the turn of the century, the, 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 according to the data we have, the, the, gen, the, the, the gap in uh, life expectancy was only about two years. Now it's five years. And, you know, so you think 100 years worth of progress and mm. things have got worse rather than better. And the, the, the million dollar question is, why is this happening? Why do men die younger uh, than women? There are clearly biological differences between men and women that might explain it. Um, so for example, men have a Y chromosome and an X, women have two X's. So there's some genetic conditions where if there's a problem with a gene on one chromosome, women have a spare chromosome. So that means that they, that can kind of cancel out that, that faulty gene. Men don't have that, mm. but that really doesn't. Uh, and, and the other physical differences between men and women aren't really a full explanation. So I think the, the reasons are poorly understood, uh, but the, the specific conditions that are, um, uh, that are, that might account for this include uh, higher rates of cardiovascular disease, mm. particularly um, uh, um, uh, so things like heart, heart attacks, yeah, um, strokes. I think it accounts for about 12% um, of all deaths of men, right? Right, it's yeah. huge. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's much worse in men. Uh, rates of obesity and, and being overweight. Um, men uh, engage in more risky behavior as well. So particularly younger men, they, they get involved in a lot more accidents, mm. more trauma. Mm -hmm. Mental health, uh, particularly suicide, is very high in, in men. Mm. Uh, so there's, there's certain conditions that are well described as being worse in men, but also there's the kind of social piece as well. Men's health-seeking behavior appears to be different. So they tend not to uh, present to health facilities um, very often. And when they do, they present late. Uh, and they just have a lot less contact with, mm -hmm. with health services, mm -hmm. like me as a GP. So there's less opportunities to address some of those unmet health needs. Um, uh, and, and also I think there's a, there's a, a mindset amongst men. There's perhaps a cultural piece there as well. I think men are much more inclined to just kind of bottle things and, and deal with them in their own way. They're not necessarily going to share their problems and seek help in the mm. same way that women do. So there's definitely differences there. And one thing I want to emphasize is that gender gap does work both ways. So there's yeah. certain conditions that yeah. are, are worse with women. For example, women suffer much higher rates of anxiety and depression, um, they're, you know, they're obviously with, um, uh, childbearing there, there's mm. all the, um, health need that comes with that. Um, and also all the drugs that are designed in modern medicine are, are tested on men and the whole system often is, is designed to treat men. So yeah. I think women are underserved as well in different ways. Sure. And the final point I want to make is, uh, on the whole, I think the gender differences are overplayed and actually most conditions affect both genders. So yeah. while well, there are differences there, most of what we talk about today applies to women as equally as mm. it, it does to men. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And I think, um, yeah. Am I right in thinking that men probably misuse things like drugs and alcohol as well? Does that yes. play a part? Yeah, yeah it do does. Massively. And, and do you know if that's, I guess, sort of historically, you know, you could say sort of men maybe has sort of a much better position of privilege in regards to many aspects, um, pay and, and everything else. And I think that's starting to shift a little bit now. And as we see more equality, um, do you think that's going to have potentially a knock-on effect to men's health through maybe more misuse of those substances? Is that something you're seeing at all? Yeah, it's really hard to to say. I think, yeah. It, it, I know we're speculating a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. Just, well, just interested, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, historically, men have always been in that, always had the upper hand in history, haven't they? They've always had the positions of power. You know, all the historical monarchs and political leaders have been men. Men, like you said, have, have generally paid more than women. And, and um, so th there's all of that. And with that comes sometimes higher socioeconomic status. And we know that that is, so when I, you know, being better off, being wealthier and more um, powerful in society, generally benefits your health. The, the people that lose out in society are the ones that are the lower end of that that spectrum. Mm. Um, in terms of whether gender equality is going to improve, uh, it can have an impact on 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 men and women's health imbalances is really, uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't want to speculate. Yeah.